I hate Twitter, but sometimes I love Twitter. A YouTuber I really like named Eddie Burback tweeted, the hot chocolate guys from Polar Express just broke into my apartment and assaulted me. Niche joke, fine tweet, nothing crazy. Then boom, out of goddamn nowhere, Keemstar shows up and says, not trying to throw shade or anything, but Eddie Burbeck has always been a talentless hack pandering to neckbeards on Reddit whose only known skill is networking with Gus Johnson. So I don't know where that's coming from, but uh, Keemstar's not having a good Christmas, I guess. But things are only about to get worse for him. Eddie responds with LMAO and gets 10 times more likes than Keemstar's original tweet. Holy shit. Then on top of that, he hits him with, Keem is very upset I didn't follow him back last year. Keem scrambles, I don't remember that at all. I do remember saying to myself, this guy is really not funny. Why does he keep doing that fake stuttering gimmick? I don't think this guy has an original thought in his brain. It seems like he's just agreeing with whatever Reddit says. Eddie responds, Keem, I don't care. Please reblock me. You are so boring. Masterclass response, A+. But Keem isn't done. Yes, I am so boring. Nice Uno reverse card, moron. I'm so boring you responded three different times. Learn how to take criticism. You're not funny. Hope you and the family have a good day. What the hell? Then Ethan Nestor comes in and throws Keem's words right back in his face. Amazing to see. Matt Watson from Super Mega shows up and gets more likes than Keem's tweet with just one word. Glorious. Gus Johnson responds to the original tweet with, Ha ha ha, what the heck dude, this is so random. Are you just bored right now? It's Christmas Eve Eve, you have to have something better to do. Now this really gets on Keemstar's nerves, because he comes back with, Well, it's Christmas Eve Eve and there's something better to do, why are you tweeting me? If there's something better to do, why is anyone reading this tweet right now? If there's something better to do, why are you reading this tweet right now? One thing I notice about Keem's Twitter is that whenever he gets any amount of pushback, he tweets like he's an animal backed into a corner. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Ted Nivison also shows up on Keem's tweet to say, Holy shit, you are such a fucking loser, it's actually impressive. Slimesicle shows up and says, As a great man once said, Yikes, Eddie is a hilarious guy, fantastic content creator, and fucking stand-up dude. I recommend his channel to all of you reading this. I recommend to Eddie that we hang out again sometime. And I recommend the spirit of Christmas future haunts this motherfucker tonight. Then Ethan Klein pops in and says, Leave it to Keemstar to go out of his way to attack a very nice boy minding his own business on Christmas Eve Eve. What a piece of shit, lol. Nick from 24 Frames and Nick just cuts straight to it with, Keem, you're a cuck. Poke just throws in a reaction image, and yeah, he's right. Circle Tunes tweets, Local internet loser continues to be an internet loser. And Girlfriend Reviews hits him with, What is it like to be this way? It's like the end of a superhero movie where everyone comes together in order to shit on the villain. Seeing all of these well-known and respected creators show up to defend Eddie feels amazing to see. I'm sorry, this is this is just really nice. My last video or six have all been about stories that have been sad or depressing, and I wanted a good story to end 2020 on, and this, this is that feel-good story. And this is just what Keemstar does on Twitter. He starts drama for his own drama channel. It's almost smart. Almost. I actually scoffed when I first read not to throw shade or anything, because that's his business. But Keemstar isn't going to change his behavior as long as it keeps getting him attention. He's like a dog <laughs> that pees on the carpet when it gets unhappy because it knows people are going to freak out. Just whenever you think of Keemstar, just think about a peeing dog. It turns out Twitter is much more enjoyable if you just block Keemstar, and even if it only makes the website 1% better, I think it's worth it. So, it's what I did. That's all from me. I know this is a bit of a shorter video, but honestly, I wanted to, again, talk about something good for the end of the year, and this, this was a Christmas miracle. You can always subscribe if you want more commentary videos, and you can like the video if you want to support me. 
I've got one more video coming out before 2020 ends, but then that's it. The year's done. So goodbye, stay safe, and I love you.